Hello Crafty Mavens, this is Megan and I am back today with a Scrap Lift Saturday. For this layout, Felicia and I are both going to be scrap lifting a layout that Victoria Marie made and I am really excited about this layout. When I first saw it, I wasn't quite sure how I would do with it because I don't really do layouts a lot like this, but I'm way excited how it turned out and I really love it. So let's go ahead and get started. Here I am just cutting down my photos and right now I'm thinking maybe I could have that photo that was on the left be the almost the full size, but then I decided no, I want them all to be about the same size and length and width and everything and so I cut that other one down and then I decide to cut it a little bit shorter so it's just the part of my son that is in the photo. So now I have these three photos and I'm going to place them on the layout like this. Here I'm writing out the title that I came up with which was hooray he did it and at first I was thinking that I would have it be big boy moments or being brave or something like that but when I saw that um, I'm using my February click kit from hip kits or not click kit my February hip kits kit um, I saw that the word hooray was part of it I decided that I was going to change up the title and have hooray be part of the title so here I'm just kind of playing around with a bunch of the embellishment pieces that came in the kit and I'm just kind of putting them all over the layout trying to figure out exactly what I want and where I want it and there were a bunch of cute little pieces in this kit as well as wood veneer pieces so that was a lot of fun and then there was this thread and or not thread but well maybe it is thread thread twine whatever you want to call it so I'm gonna cut off a piece of that and I'm just gonna put it in a pile down there on the bottom of the layout and it was kind of perfect when I first put it down and then I picked it up and started playing with it and then I kind of messed it up but oh well here I'm going to pick it up again to try to glue it down with some glue zots and that kind of messes it up even more so I was just kind of like well whatever <laughs> it is what it is so I'm just kind of going with that and gluing it down in two spots with my glue zots and then I'm going to put down that that piece of that tag from the embellishment kit. I decide that I don't really like it eventually but for now I'm just going to leave it there. Okay now I moved everything up a little bit so that the thread wouldn't be hitting it so much and now I'm kind of just figuring out if this is really where I want things to be and it is pretty much I, I pretty much keep most everything on the layout exactly where it is so I just put a couple of glue zots on this clear tag I just put it behind the flowers because I didn't want you to be able to see exactly where the glue zots were then I glued down that little um, tag piece that says voila. Now I'm gluing down the photos. And then I'm going to start gluing down a couple of these little embellishment pieces. I'm going to use my Tombow Aqua glue here to glue down this little frame tag. And then I'm going to use my Zots to glue down these small stars. And they're, they're kind of like wood veneer, but they're really thin. And I really like the how, how they're not as thick as wood veneer, but they're still wood veneer texture. So I put those three stars down in those places on the left hand of the layout. Then here I'm going to put this circle tag up there in the top right hand corner of that photo. But first I decide I'm going to put down the word hooray. And so I glue that down, then I'm going to glue the photo down, and then I'm going to glue down that transparency piece. 
And I really did like the way that this little frame worked right above the the hooray, the word hooray. And I'm not going to do it on the layout, but I'm thinking I'm going to do the date inside that frame. But I don't actually do it because I don't know the date of this this these photos, so I need to go and look that up. Hopefully, I will have those in the photos. Um after the, the layout's all done. But here I'm just putting together the, the rest of the title. So I'm using these little alphas and they are by, let's see, Allison Kreft. And it's from Webster's pages. It says, happy, hashtag happy little letter stickers. And they're really, really stinking cute. So I'm glad I had those in my stash to use. So I just wrote out the words, he did it, and I'm going to put it right underneath the word hooray and next to that photo. I also pulled out some enamel dots that came in the kit, and I believe these are simple stories enamel dots, and I don't have the packaging for them anymore, so I could be wrong about that. So here I'm placing down the title, and I'm just using my EK Tools uh, tweezers for that makes it just a little bit easier then here I'm putting down some more enamel dots in a couple more places and I you can also see that I changed out that tag on the bottom that was sitting on top of the, the thread I changed it out for that acetate piece and it says fancy that and I kind of like that a little bit better so I'm going to leave that there. Now here I am doing the journaling. I decided to do my journaling exactly like Victoria Marie did. And I am going to just do lines and then do a bit of journaling. And I'm going to slowly kind of run out of lines. And so I'm going to add a couple at a time. I didn't want there to be too many lines. So I'm just going to add like two extra at a time after getting through these first five lines that I made. So my journaling just says Tinian did not want to get x-rays done of his teeth. The assistant said she could pick out or he could pick out two prizes. Whoa! That made him rethink things and he gave in. It wasn't fun, but I'm proud of him for doing it, even if he had to be bribed by cheap toys. So... That's what the journaling says, and yeah, that pretty much sums up the photos. I really like it when I, I make a layout where I can do a lot of journaling because I don't always do layouts where I can do a lot of journaling because it just kind of messes with the whole design of the layout. So this one was a lot of fun, and I'm really glad that I was able to journal all of that that I had on my mind for this layout. Okay, so next up, I'm going to remember, let's see, what is it? Oh, yes. So I remembered that Victoria put some edges, like some pattern paper on the edges, both edges of her layout. I had this branding strip from an Ellie's Studio piece of paper that I had just cut off. And so I put that on the side and it matches the colors perfectly. So I was really excited that that worked. Then I'm going to cut down these cut apart pieces, which came with, oh goodness, I don't remember what paper it was. I think it's Pink, Pink Paisley C'est La Vie collection. And so I cut off the word amazing and then also this, this word forever. And I'm just going to stick those right up there in that corner, just like Victoria did on her layout. And then I'm going to also stick up a couple enamel dots up there as well and then that is going to be the end of this layout thanks so much for watching guys i hope that you will participate and show us what you make with victoria's layout as your inspiration have a great weekend bye